Coming up on Look Today, well, City of Saratoga Springs will take another look at its government charter. I've got details. And Open Door Mission in Glens Falls held its donor dinner fundraiser last night. We were there. More on that coming up. Plus, Aesthetic Movement Exhibition Art Gallery is currently open at Larrack in Glens Falls. And we were there today. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with Scott Hayden. He's Executive Director of the Adirondack Folk School. And we're joined by Jenny Frazen. She's President of the Adirondack Folk School Board of Trustees. And they're here to talk about the upcoming 2018 semester. Plus, I also sit down with Izzy Rutke, Joe Vesic, and Joe McDonald. Now, they're students from Boston Spa High School and they're here to talk about the issue of gun control and an upcoming school demonstration that's happening on March 14. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, check this out in our lead story. Mayor Meg Kelly of Saratoga Springs has appointed a new 10-person Charter Review Commission. Now, the commission will be chaired by City Attorney Vincent D. Leonardis. Other members include all of the city council members. Now, it's important to note that this new commission will not be proposing a change in the form of government, but rather it will be tasked with making recommendations to improve the current charter and the form of government. Now, a list of proposed changes will be submitted for a referendum on the November ballot. Now, we're at the meeting where Mayor Meg Kelly spoke. Although it was very, a very close vote, the proposed charter did not pass in November. However, I believe then, and I strongly believe now, that we need to make changes to become more responsive and efficient as a city for our residents, businesses, and visitors. Now, some who advocated for a total change in government on the last ballot are opposed to this new referendum. Now, we're going to have more on this for you in the coming days when we reach out and speak to people involved on both sides of this issue. Well, in other news, a Glens Falls Open Door Mission held its donor dinner fundraiser last night. Now, recently, Kim Cook and her team found out that they would have to raise an additional $600,000 for infrastructure upgrades that they didn't count on for their new headquarters on Warren Street in Glens Falls. Well, we spoke to Kim today about the success of last night's fundraiser. We were really, really happy that so many people came out in the middle of that storm. We, we probably lost about really 20, 25 people when all was said and done. Um, we're hoping some of them will come tonight, and uh, many people have made donations even though they couldn't make it. Congratulations, Kim. Switching from news to weather, well, expect a little more snow later on tonight, but it looks like we're past the worst. Let's see how the rest of the week and the weekend is shaping up. For more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thanks, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Sponsor with your first look weather update here on Look TV. Well, I hate to say this, but as this low pressure moves out of the area, over the weekend we're going to have a new low pressure system forming about southern plains that will go through much of the southeast and it will take a turn to the northeast once again. It could be a potential nor'easter for the coastal part of New England, and so the interior sections may see a little bit more accumulating snow. And yes, we're heading into mid-March, but overnight lows will only be in the mid-20s across much of the Capital District, so expect about 24 degrees here in Glens Falls, a half inch of snow accumulation, southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then on your Friday, more snow chances, 37 degrees, but accumulations will be very minor. As you take a look at the out the door forecast, some scattered snow, be prepared for wind chills in the lower 20s, upper 20s to near 30 for actual air temps extended. When is that potential nor'easter come to our area? Not until early next week, about Monday and Tuesday time frame. We have snow chances at 30 to 50 percent for now with highs upper 30s, lows in the mid 20s. But this system needs to be closely monitored as we could see another potentially major accumulating snow across the capital district. That'll be your, your weather update here on First Look TV. 
I'm meteorologist Clarence Paul. First look weather on Look TV, I should say. I'm meteorologist Clarence Paul. So now I send it back to you, Jesse. Thanks very much, Clarence. All right, back to the news. Well, the Aesthetic Movement Exhibition Art Gallery is now open to the public at Larrack in Glens Falls. Now, the show will run until March 30th, and it features the artwork of local artists from our area. While we were at the gallery today, we spoke to Philip Casabona. So for us in the gallery, um, being a nonprofit, being free and open to the public, having local art represented is key for us, but it's also key for us to push the progression of the arts here. Um, you know, in this area, you tend to see beautiful work, but sometimes, you know, you see a lot of landscapes and a lot of outdoors pieces, which is wonderful, but we always try to push the boundaries in what we can do here in the gallery. That's a wonderful gallery, by the way. I've been there many times, and sometimes it's hard to find. It's located right behind Town Hall and right behind Spot Coffee, sandwiched right in there, right on the, uh, I think it's Crandall Park, right, uh, no, it's not, it's called City Park, right next to the Crandall Library right in the heart of downtown Glens Falls. Well, I made it through that. All right, we're going to have some of the artists on next week, by the way, for interviews. Up next, I sit down with Scott Hayden, Executive Director, Adirondack Folk School, and we're joined by Ginny Frazen. She's the president of the Adirondack Folk School Board of Trustees. They're here to talk about the upcoming 2018 semester. And I also sit down with Izzy Rutke, Joe Vesic, and Joe McDonald. Now, they're three students from Boston Spa High School. And they're here to talk about the issue of gun control and an upcoming school demonstration that's happening on March 14. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got one quick look out. My wife and I went last night to the Open Door Mission fundraiser. And it was quite a turnout, even with the storm. It was a wonderful turnout. And uh, there was a theme last night. It kind of stayed in my mind, and I just wanted to pass it on to you. You know, when you think about people who are in need, uh, you can either treat them as rejects, not members of society, or you can invite them, and you can treat them with respect. And in doing so, you develop a trust with them and maybe help them get out of their uh, situation. Uh, it was just really wonderful, and Kim and her uh, team there really did a wonderful job last night at that fundraiser. All right, tonight on Look TV, it's sold. That's our call-in auction program. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.